there was nothing, no regulatory bodies, no rules, no protocols, no kits. So we had to do our own research and find out how does MADE work elsewhere in the world, how could we do it. And then we found out about the case sharing webinars with Dying with Dignity. And that was really a light that came on, that there were other people we could work with and share information with, be taught and eventually become teachers ourselves. So that really anchored us and gave us a community of providers and the information we so badly needed to get the ball rolling. Despite the fact that we have five very active maid providers on Vancouver Island, there is no time left in the day to even call Stephanie, who lives literally 500 feet away from me, like around the block. And we barely have a conversation because there's no time at the end of the day. So having these focused um, case sharing opportunities to meet with colleagues, to hear how they're struggling and how they resolve the case or didn't resolve the case and what issues were coming up from them, it's been absolutely Fantastic. They allow people who are new to the practice and new to made provision to really get a sense of what other providers are dealing with and struggling with and also sometimes the, the sort of, um, not necessarily the joys of, of doing it, but how it can be a rewarding part of one's clinical work. And, and to hear about cases where, where things have gone well, where patients and their family members and communities have been appreciative. Um, of, of the ability to access MADE. I think that's a vital part of our work is also getting that, um, that positive feedback to sort of sustain us through the rest of what we do. There's something very uh, visceral about being able to sit down and watch a presentation by another colleague on the, uh, the other side of the country talking about their experience, how they dealt with a particular problem. It's much better than just reading about it uh, or sharing emails. Actually seeing them talk about their cases uh, is incredibly valuable. Especially in a province where you know, you're isolated in small communities, the fact that you can um, access other people that have a lot more experience than you do and have a lot more, um, I've done a lot more cases, um, they can definitely help with what you're going through. The other advantage is, and I've used this myself, is to take a difficult case that I have, present it at case sharing, and then get opinions from other people on the case sharing um, uh, webinar. Uh, which has helped me and you know in some cases it's changed the way that I would have assessed the patient and in other cases it has confirmed what I thought in the beginning so um, from a support perspective it is an amazing resource and I, I, I sincerely hope that we keep on doing it.